Thousands of people across the southeast are dealing with damage this morning after severe storms and tornadoes tore through the region. At least three people were killed, two in Tennessee and one in North Carolina. Manuel Bohorkas is in Alabama. A third straight night of severe weather, this time cutting across the deep south. Tornadoes struck towns north of Birmingham, including this industrial zone in Madison County, where it stripped these metal buildings to shreds. Officials in northern Alabama say there was major damage to towns and reported injuries and worked through the night to rescue residents from their homes. The intense storms coming after another day of active tornadoes that bore down on six states Wednesday. Violent tornado. This Violent tornado, tornado bore down in Clarksville, Tennessee, outside of Nashville. And just to the south in Maury County, the wreckage left behind by a tornado was everywhere. Splintered trees, collapsed roofs, and gutted homes littered parts of the town of Spring Hill. Spring Hill's mayor confirmed there was at least one fatality. We are in a search and rescue mode. We are going from house to house to make sure that everybody is okay. The storms even hitting close to home for this first responder. My parents' uh, house was damaged um, right up right up the road. Uh, so I'm very familiar with the area. It's uh, pretty devastating. But it wasn't only about tornadoes and wind. To Nashville's north in Gallatin, a life-threatening flash flood warning was issued. High water stranded drivers. Meanwhile, in Kentucky, this funnel cloud was spotted in Paducah as a severe storm approached. And the extreme weather stretched east to Charlotte, North Carolina, where high winds up to 60 miles per hour caused this tree to fall and crush the car below it. Back here in Hanager, Alabama, a bit of good news that was shared by the fire chief to CBS News. He says that so far there have been no deaths or serious injuries reported, despite the type of damage and destruction that you are seeing here. Although, as we mentioned off the top of our report, this remains an active weather situation. I mean, Manny, whenever I see, you know, scenes like the one that's behind you, I can't even imagine what the cleanup effort even looks like plus the rebuilding effort. But can you talk right. to us a little bit about what will be needed in terms of cleanup in a place like this? Oh, there will be a lot of cleanup going on here once the storms clear. We've already seen them trying to uh, clear access to roads that were blocked by big trees so that they can get power crews into some of these areas. Power lines and poles are down, so the power is out to a lot of people here as well. But this is the type of cleanup that will take uh, weeks, months, really. Uh, if they want to rebuild, they may have to just clear this house completely down to the slab because of the destruction there. Wow. All right, Manny, thank you so much.